What's up, folks? More lore. Today we're talking about the fall of the Black Empire. So let's go! The Keepers were feeling pretty damn good about themselves. They'd beaten the Elemental Lords. They'd beat the Akiri. It was now time to focus on the heart of the Black Empire, the temple city built around the old god Yasharj. I love that name, Yasharj. I know it's probably pronounced Yasharaj, but that's not how it's spelt. It's most definitely spelt Yasharj. They knew if they could take this temple city out, they could defeat their enemies in one swift stroke. So, the battle begun. Bodies of Titan forged and Mraki riddled the landscape as the Titan forged army battled its way towards the mountainous form of Yasharj. Yasharj was more powerful than the keepers had expected. It poisoned the minds of the Titan forged, drawing out their fears and darkening their thoughts. The Pantheon grew concerned that Yasharj would win, despite previously deciding against it. They believed direct action was necessary. Aminthal himself reached down through Azeroth's sky and grabbed Yasharj. Yasharj was all like, all right. With a mighty heave, Aminthal tore Yasharj from the crust of the world. Yasharj ripped apart so many R's. The immensity of his death rattle shattered mountains and obliterated hundreds of Titan Forged where they stood. Aminthal then probably said something like, oh, bugger tubs. Yasharj was dead but his tendrils had bored deeper than Amonthal had ever imagined. In excising the old god from the world, he'd inadvertently ripped an internal wound in Azeroth's surface. Volatile arcane energies, the lifeblood of the nation Titan, erupted from the scar. Horrified by this, the Pantheon looked at each other and said, yeah, let's not do that again. The Pantheon now knew the only course of action was to, yeah, you guessed it, bloody imprison the old gods where they stood. Because in Warcraft, every problem is solved with imprisonment. You got a problem? Imprison it. Someone giving you a hard time? Imprison them. Not going to meet that deadline at work? Bloody imprison that deadline. With the help of the Keepers, this plan might just work. First, the Titan Forged Army would need to battle each of the Old Gods directly. Once weakened enough, Archidus would create subterranean chambers to contain them. Mimiron would fashion colossal machines to lock the Old Gods in place. Loken would imbue each prison with a great enchantment that would neutralize the Old Gods' evil. Brilliant plan. Everyone congratulated themselves for thinking of it, even though it's the same plan they always come up with. The Titan Forge began the campaign. Great battles tore across the land as they fought their way to the southeast to the bastion of Nzoth. Everything went according to plan, and Nzoth went to prison. Next, to the southwest, to the temple city that surrounded the third old god, Cthun. Once again, just like with Nzoth, Cthun went to prison. Only one old god remained the vicious and cunning Yog saron This one wouldn't go down so easy. As the Titan Forge closed in, he was all like, ha ha! And lo and behold, he'd unleashed his greatest of generals, the Cthraxi. The Cthraxi were war bringers, larger and more resilient than other Nraki. They possessed great strength and brutal intellect. Their dark powers and maledictions could drive even the Titan Forge to madness. The giant, tentacle-faced Cthraxi whipped the remnants of the Black Empire into a frenzy. The Titan Forge were swarmed on all sides, their ranks thinning. By the time the Keepers and their allies reached yogg saron their numbers had greatly diminished. They found they lacked the strength in numbers to defeat the Old God. yogg saron would have destroyed the Titan Forge completely were it not for the heroic efforts of Keeper Odin. Although scarred and beaten, Odin summoned his waning strength and inspired the Titan Forge to launch a counterattack. He commanded Loken to weave a grand illusion spell that forced the Cthraxi to see themselves and even yogg saron as the enemy. The Black Empire forces turned on one another. Odin then swooped down and struck the confused enemy, and the rest of the Titan Forge followed his lead. This led to victory and, as with Nzoth and Cthun, yogg saron went to prison. And we're leaving it there. Just keep in mind that big old wound left behind by removing your charge is a pretty important MacGuffin and will play a big part moving forward with the story. It's also important to note that the old gods are still very much on Azeroth, just in prison. So. That's probably going to come back and bite someone in the arse as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, upvote, subscribe, follow, comment, all of that sort of stoof. All that's left to say is thanks for watching and see ya!